arrivals at Mammoth Sugar Bowl Stadium are entertained by various musical contingents participating in the pageantry. First, the American Legion Band under the direction of Frank Rosato performs. The A. Meaton High School Band marches onto the field. Missouri band will entertain. Next, the crowd is entertained by the University of Florida band. Coach Dan Devine. And here's Coach Ray Graves of Florida. Dr. J. Wayne Reitz, president of the University of Florida, shown as he awaits the kickoff. Next, we see Dr. Elmer Ellis, president of the University of Missouri, and Chancellor John W. Schwada with Governor Warren Hearn. President A. Theo Momus crowns lovely Sugar Bowl Queen 1966, Sherry Lynn Butcher. All the fans stand as the Reverend William G. Gaines of the Greek Orthodox Cathedral delivers the prayer for peace. Marguerite Piazza, internationally famous singer, sings the national anthem. All musical organizations participate on the field under band director Charles Emmons. five yards deep and decides to down the ball. Missouri will play from its own 20. First and 10 Missouri, Reese at right guard for a gain of three to the Missouri 23 yard line, tackled by Heighton Purcell. Second down seven now. Charlie Brown of Missouri at right guard picks up two yards to the Missouri 25, stopped by Purcell in this one. On third down with five yards to go, Gary Lane passes to Phelps. It's complete to the Missouri 30 and the first down Tigers. With first and 10 to go, Reese gets it at right guard. He picks up three of the Missouri 33, stopped by Gagner. That makes it second and 10, Missouri. Lane, the quarterback, he keeps it. Moves over right tackle for six to the Missouri 39. He missed the first down by inches. Third down, inches to go. Reese takes the handoff, picks up two, and it's a first down on Missouri's 41. Anderson making the tackle. Brown takes it over left guard, picks up six yards to Missouri's 47, where he's brought down by Kirk. Second and four for the Tigers. Lane hands to Denny. He picks up eight yards, and it's a first down on Florida's 45. Grandy makes the stop. Charlie Brown at right guard. He goes for five to Florida's 40, stopped by Hoy and Bennett. Brown again at right tackle. He gains four to Florida's 36. Kirk and Trammell making the tackle. That makes it third and one Tigers. Lane on a keeper, gains the yard, and it's a first down on the Florida 35. Reese at left tackle picks up eight more to the Florida 27. Bennett and Hoy making the stop. 
Second and two. Lane, the quarterback, takes the handoff, keeps it, swings wide to the left and gains nine to the floor to 18 where it's a first down. Brown at right guard picks up five more to the floor to 13. Kirk and Purcell make the stop. Timeout for the Gators. Time resumes and Roland takes it over right tackle for two more to Florida's 11. Barrett makes the tackle. That makes it third and three. Lane the quarterback on a keeper. Swings off the left side, picks up two to Florida's nine. Fourth down, one yard to go on the Florida nine yard line for Missouri. Reese at right guard held for no gain. Stopped by Kirk and Florida takes over on its own nine. Six minutes, 16 seconds left in the quarter. After a run, two passes with fourth and three to go. Steve Spurrier punts to the Missouri 41 yard line. The kick was good for 43 yards. Missouri has control once again. Lane, the quarterback, drops back the pass. His throw is intended for Phelps, but incomplete. Overthrown. Second and ten. Lane back again to throw. He fires to Brown. It's good this time for 14 yards and a first down on the Florida 45. Lane hands to Brown. He moves over right guard for two more to Florida's 43. Tackled by Purcell. With second and eight. Lane keeps it. Drops back to throw. Fires to Waller, but it's broken up by Purcell. Third down. Eight yards to go for Missouri. Lane back to pass. Can't find a receiver, decides to run. He moves up the middle for seven to the floor to 36, missing the first down by inches. So it's another fourth down, inches to go situation. Lane and the keeper picks up two, first down on the floor to 34. Brown at right guard gets two more to the floor to 32, stopped by Gagner. Quarterback Gary Lane sweeps left end this time. And after a 12-yard gain to the floor to 20, he has a first down. Run out of bounds by Grandy and Purcell. Brown at right guard gains four yards to the floor to 16. Quarterback Lane at left end gains five more to the floor to 11. He is brought down by Grandy. Lane up the middle, dives for two. It's a first down on the floor to nine as the first period ends. The score, no score. Missouri nothing, Florida nothing. It's first and goal for Missouri. Brown on a pitch out from Lane tries the right side, but he's thrown for a yard loss by Trammell. Second down, 10-yard line. The pitch out goes to Charlie Brown. He sweeps left end, and he's going all the way. 10 yards for the touchdown. Kicks the extra point. West holding. It's in the air and good. Missouri leads Florida seven to nothing. Now Bates will kick off to Florida. He boots out of the end zone. Florida will put it in play in its own 20. A run and two passes fail to make the first down for the Gators with fourth and ten. Steve Spurrier drops back deep to punt. His kick goes out of bounds on the 48 of Florida. 28 yards from scrimmage. Missouri takes over, but they're unable to make a first down. And after three tries with fourth and 11, West punts to the Florida 11-yard line on this play. Watch the deep receiver, Harper. He signals for a fair catch. But he fumbles the ball. Thorpe recovers from Missouri. It's first and 10 on the Florida 11. Lane, the quarterback, hands off to Johnny Rowland. Rowland passes to Denny, takes it on the six, and in he goes for the touchdown. West holds again as Bates hooks the extra point. Zero 14, Florida nothing. Bates kicking off. He boots it into the end zone where Poe downs the ball and Florida puts it back in play on its own 20. 
For the first and ten, Poe at left tackle gains seven to the floor to 27-yard line, stopped by Ziegler and Chopin. After a penalty of five yards for illegal procedure, it's second and eight. Spurrier passes to Casey. He makes the catch in the Florida 45, run out of bounds by Crossnickel on the Missouri 38 finally after a gain of 40 yards and a first down. Steve Spurrier, the quarterback for Florida, fakes, drops back the throw, looks for Casey. Incomplete, out of bounds. That makes it second and ten for the Gators. Spurrier back to pass again. He throws a Ewaltson, who steps out of bounds after a gain of seven on the Missouri 31. Third down, three yards to go. Spurrier throwing once more, intended for Casey. Out of bounds. Fourth and three. Spurrier back. He looks. He fires out the trap in the flat. Ducks up the middle and goes 21 yards for a first down on the Missouri 10. Florida is penalized 15 yards for clipping with the Missouri 25, however. That'll make it first and 25 yards to go. Spurrier back. He's hit by Lynn, fumbles. The ball flies in the air and Chopin recovers on the Missouri 37. A loss of four in the play. After three plays, failed to make the first down with fourth and ten. West punts to the Florida 23. Harper, the deep man, takes it in and returns to the Florida 28-yard line where he stopped by Brown. That kick was good for 40 yards. Florida has the ball again, first and ten. Spray the quarterback. Fakes and passes. He throws to Casey for 14 to the Florida 42, and it's a first down. A tackle by Grosnickel. Poe takes the handoff, picks up Ford left guard to the Florida 46. Second down, six yards to go. Spurrier back to pass. He throws to Casey. It's complete for 24 yards and a first down in the Missouri 30. Spurrier has it. He is trapped for a loss of four to the Missouri 34 yard line. That'll make it second and 14. Spurrier the quarterback. Again, he's besieged and thrown for a loss of 10 by Snyder to the Missouri 44. Third down, 24 yards to go. Here's Harper with the ball, looking for somebody to throw to. It's intended for Jackson, but broken up by the Mizzou secondary. Three men get their hands on the ball, but nobody can keep it. Fourth and 24. Spurrier passing deep. It's intended for Harper on a fake punt play, broken up by Boston on the Mizzou 10. And Missouri will take over on its own 44-yard line. After Missouri's two first downs, Florida's defense stiffens with fourth and five on the Florida 20. Bates kicks a 37-yard field goal, and Missouri now leads 17 to nothing. Bates kicks off. He boots to the Florida two. Poe returns to the Florida 26-yard line before he's stopped by the man who did the kicking, Bates. Florida, stymied by Mizzou's stout defense with fourth and three, sends Spurrier back to punt. His kick angle for the sidelines goes out of bounds in the Missouri 37 after 30 yards from scrimmage. First and ten, Mizzou. Lane back to pass. Can't find a man. Drifts to the right is hauled down for an eight-yard loss on the Missouri 29 by Barrett as the second period ends. Missouri 17, Florida nothing. A colorful halftime pageant unfolds to entertain the New Year's Day throng. Under the baton of band director Charles Emmons, the Missouri marching band and Golden Girls perform to T for two.
Florida's band, under the direction of Richard W. Bowles, is next on the field. kicks off for Missouri to start the second half. His boot goes into the Florida end zone. Kirk takes it and carries back to the Florida 24 where he's stopped by Van Dyke and Snyder. Florida is again unable to advance the ball and so with fourth down and 12 yards to go, Steve Spurrier punts. He kicks out to the Florida 49, a boot of 27 yards, grounded by Jackson. After first down with third and three on the Florida 28, Gary Lane, the Mizzou quarterback, sweeps right in. He scoots 25 yards to the Florida three before he's run out of bounds by Bennett. First down and goal to go. However, Missouri suffers a 15-yard penalty for holding. Three incomplete passes make it fourth down, goal to go on the 24. Bates drops back and kicks with West holding a 34-yard field goal. Missouri now leads 20 to nothing. Bates kicks off again for Missouri. This time the ball goes down to the Florida four-yard line. Pole returns it to the Gator 27, stopped by Thorpe and Van Dyke. Florida picks up a first down and then after a run and two passes failed to gain the first down with fourth and two in the Florida 46 Seymour punts. He kicks it to the Mizzou 30 yard line. Johnny Rowland takes it returns to the Mizzou 36. The kick was good for 24 yards from scrimmage. Florida's defense stiffens and holds. Missouri with fourth and five sends West back to punt. And he gets off a boomer. 59 yards from scrimmage into the Florida end zone. Florida will put it in play in its own 20. Unable to pick up a first down after two passes and a run with fourth and 11 Seymour of Florida punts to the Missouri 38 yard line. Johnny Rowland is deep for Mizzou. Handles a kick over his shoulder. Shakes off a tackler. Gets away from another on the ground. Returns to Missouri 47. Missouri moves to a first down on Lane's pass to Waller. On third and seven from midfield. Lane throws again to Waller. And it's complete for 14 and a first down at the Florida 36. Stopped by Bennett. With second and seven on the Florida 33. Lane the quarterback. Fakes the two men. Pass is intended for Phelps. It is intercepted by Height on the Florida 20. He returns to the 26 yard line where he's stopped by Reese. Gators have the ball. Still no score for Florida. Spurrier, the quarterback, passes intended for Brown. Good for 13, and it's a first down on the Florida 39. Roland and Grossnickel make the tackle. Steve Spurrier, quarterback, drops back to throw again. He intends this one for Casey. It is overthrown and intercepted by Grossnickel on the Missouri 24. He circles wide, comes up midfield, gets a key block. Returns to the Missouri 35. Mizzou is penalized over 15 yards, clipping to their 20 yard line. But the Tigers have the ball. The handoff goes to Brown. He sweeps right in, picks up a convoy of blockers, heads down the sideline. And Charlie goes 45 yards before he's run out of bounds by McCall, who caught him from behind. The first down on the floor to 35. After three runs, pick up another first down with first and 10 on the floor to 23. It's Lane keeping. Cuts back off left tackle and gains eight to the Florida 15 as the third period ends. Missouri leads 20 to nothing. Fourth quarter now as they change sides. Reese at left tackle gains one to the Florida 14. Brought down by Hoy and Purcell. Third and one. Reese tries tackle. No gain. He misses by inches. 
That'll make it fourth down, inches to go. Lane, the quarterback, keeps at the middle. He is stopped cold. Florida takes over on downs on its own 14, trailing 20 to nothing in the fourth period. Steve Spurrier, the quarterback, back to pass. He looks for Brown throws, and it's good for 16 yards to the Florida 30, a first down. Spurrier taking to the air again. He passes to Brown for four more to the Florida 34. Second down, six to go for the Gators. Spurrier back to pass once more. It's good to Harper for 19 and a first down on the Mizzou 47 yard line. Spurrier flips a screen pass this time. Good to Harper, who carries it for 16 to a first down on the Missouri 31. He's stopped by Boston. Spurrier fades to pass once more. Complete to trap for nine yards. The Missouri 22 tackled by Roland. Second down and a yard to go. Spurrier will pass again. He throws to Harper in the end zone. It's good for a touchdown. With a score 20 to 6, Spurrier elects to go for a two point play. He passes intended for trap in the end zone, but it's broken up by Boston. Missouri 20, Florida 6. Now Preston kicks off for Florida. He boots to the Missouri four yard line. Brown returns to the Mizzou 23. Stopped by Preston and Hungenbuehler. After Brown gains two yards at right tackle with second and eight, Lane pitches out to Denny. Denny hit hard, fumbled. Tackled by Hyde, and it's recovered by Grandy on the Mizzou 11-yard line. Florida has the ball. Spurrier, the quarterback. He's going to throw. Passes to Harper for eight yards to the Missouri three-yard line, where Boston knocks him down. Second and goal. Harper dives over right guard for one yard to the Missouri two. Brought down by Whitaker. Spurrier keeps up the middle, squeezes out the touchdown. Again, Florida elects to go for two points. On the fake field goal, Trammell passes to Poe. Grossnickel of Mizzou breaks it up in the end zone. Missouri 20, Florida 12. After a penalty of five yards for an out-of-bounds kickoff, Preston kicks off again from the floor to 35. He goes down to the Missouri three yard line where Johnny Rowland takes it in and returns to the Mizzou 22. Pippen and Hungenbuehler make the stop. Tigers have the ball leading 20 to 12. Brown at right guard picks up three to the Missouri 25. That makes it second and seven. Brown again at right guard. This time he gets through for 10 yards and a first down on the Missouri 35. Stopped by Grandy. After three runs, failed to pick up the first down. With fourth and two, West punts. He kicks it dead on the Florida 19. Tharp downs the ball after a 38-yard punt from scrimmage. Florida has the ball trailing by eight points. Spurrier the quarterback, back to pass. Can't find a receiver, runs instead, and he gains seven to the Florida 26, where he's stopped by Nelson. Second and three. Spurrier fighting the clock, trailing by eight points. Throws again. It's broken up by Chopin. That makes it third down and three for the Gators. Spurrier back to pass again. He hits Brown for 18, and it's a first down on the Florida 44. Roland makes a stop. Spurrier drifts back to throw once more. Pass is broken up. Second down, 10 yards to go. Spurrier trying to get the Gators back in the game. Throws to Poe. It's good for 10 and a first down on the Mizzou 46. Whitaker finally brings him down. Spurrier goes to the air once more. This time the pole for 12 and a first down to the Missouri 34. Roland rolls him out of bounds. 
Furrier tries to hit Poe again, but the pass is incomplete. Second and ten for Florida. They trail 20 to 12. Spurrier throwing. Good to Brown for four yards to the Missouri 30. Boston wrestles him to the ground. Third and six. Spurrier will pass again. This time to Brown for nine, and it's a first down on the Mizzou 21. Spurrier's going to throw once more. He throws intended for Poe, broken up by Snyder. Second and ten. Steve Spurrier once more tries to pass. Rushed hard, gets it off, incomplete, almost intercepted. Third down, ten yards to go. Spurrier back to pass. Looks for Casey. He's got him. It's complete in the end zone for 21 yards. A tremendous catch for a touchdown. Once again, Spurrier will go for two points. It's intended for Brown. Incomplete. Florida guilty of illegal motion, but Missouri refuses the penalty and leads 20 to 18. Just a few moments left to play in this game. Preston, an onside kick to the Mizzou 38, is returned eight yards by Phelps to the Missouri 46. Mizzou fails to pick up a first down after three runs, so with fourth and three, West punts. He kicks it down to the Florida seven yard line. Harper takes it in. Being hemmed in, he's thrown for a loss of four to the three yard line. Phelps rolls him to the ground. After two passes with a gain of five yards on third and five, Spurrier passes. Standing almost in his end zone, he hits trap for 14. It's a first down on the floor to 22. Roland makes the stop. Time running out now. Florida trailing 20 to 18. Spurrier passes quickly for Lynn, incomplete. Time for just one more play as Spurrier goes back. In desperation, he wiggles free, throws a pass to Brown. It's good for 11. It's a first down at the Florida 33, but that's it. The game is over. And Missouri has won by two points, 20 to 18. And now we take you to the finale of the Sugar Bowl's 32nd annual extravaganza, the Players' Awards Party, following the game. Missouri and Florida players are presented awards by past president A.B. Nicholas, who is assisted by coach Ray Graves. President A. Theo Momus presents the Sugar Bowl trophy to coach Dan Devine of Missouri. Charles Zatterin, past president, awards trophy to coach Ray Graves of the University of Florida. Sam Carnswit, Sr., chairman of the executive committee, presents the most valuable player award to quarterback Steve Spurrier of Florida. And here's the Sugar Bowl queen, Miss Sherry Lynn Butcher, and pageant chairman and past president, Erwin F. Poche. Why don't you plan to visit New Orleans, historic city of charm and culture, home of the Sugar Bowl.